Well, I drove down La Cienega, and then I got to the building, and I auditioned, and then I got a call back, and then I got another call back, and then I screen tested, and then I got the part. <laughs> it was a, yeah. I had definitely heard uh, about them, but I hadn't read them. I was previously in another YA book to movie adaptation called Beautiful Creatures. So I was kind of in that world where people were talking about all their, their what do they call their ships? Their, their, when they ship people together, I guess. It's when they really like two people together. I sound like a grandma right now. What's that thing that those kids are saying nowadays? But yeah, I had an idea about it. I think I just spoke to somebody who had had seen it and she her, her first instinct to, about describing it was that it was it, it didn't feel necessarily like a vampire film it felt more a, about a story of a friendship between two girls and and their their um their survival like just literally beyond even just trying to get through the the mean girls and the boys and and each other um they have these these actually uh um, threatening forces surrounding them. I think the thing that resonated the most to me was, um, and what I really appreciated about the story was that it it is about like I, I'm going to reiterate. I know it's a little bit a bit redundant, but. It's a story of friendship between two girls, which is pretty rare, um, unfortunately, and about them prioritizing each other over a relationship with a guy. But the relationship that they have between each other is that they, ha they don't have anyone but one another. Uh, the movie actually begins with uh, the audience seeing that uh, Lissa's parents and brother were killed in a car crash and uh, Rose was in the car and survived it as well as Lissa obviously and Rose comes from a really kind of screwed up family where she doesn't talk to them she doesn't know them she doesn't know her dad and she barely talks to her mother uh, so they really have they have each other and this school and this school they have to leave and they don't even remember why so it's that's it that's all they have is It was really fun. I, I mean, it, it's awesome. You get full-time trainers and professionals uh, teaching you uh, how to defend yourself. It's amazing. It was an uh, awesome life experience that I probably never would have done or could afford. <laughs> that kind of stuff is so expensive. Um, uh, but I trained for about three months prior, I think, three months. Uh, it's all it's all a blur. I was too exhausted and sore and in Epsom salt baths. Um, I don't know how Mark Wahlberg does it. I have no idea. Or what? Like all those guys, I have no idea. There, it's I could not do that every movie. Uh, and uh, I trained throughout the filming and during my lunch breaks. And yeah, it was definitely a new experience to me because I had never even been in a gym. It's, it, it's not, um, the, my character has never been done before, ever. 100% has never been done before. That's a fact. I can say that. Uh, I can't necessarily vouch for, like, is this the only, like, funny non-parody of a vampire film? I can't, I don't know, but but it is. It's, 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 it's very humorous. Like, it has a lot of jokes and a lot of, um, embedded into the story without kind of taking you out of it, in my opinion, at least. Like, it's just, like... Um, constantly strewn throughout the story. Uh -huh.